Okay, welcome to part two of the Radio Masterclass. I'm Wes Malik, and we covered formatting a link and making a playlist in your scheduling software. And I also gave you a demo of the mixer, and I also gave you a demo of how you know that should look. Now, um, if you've got any questions, please leave them in a comment here, and I will get to the questions at the end of this masterclass. Now, I'd like to discuss the topic of playlists and before we talk about playlists, there is no good or bad playlist. Um, every playlist you make is a good one, and there is no perfect playlist. I'll give you an example. Um, and this comes actually from a, a question, and the question is a very good question. I, I think I should read out the question first. We have two questions today from very famous RJs, and I'm very uh, happy to be addressing their questions as well. Let's. Uh, Quickly go through that. Saad Harun from The Breakfast Show asks, to play requests or not, what should you permit on your playlist? So let's answer that question. Now, there's no good or bad songs on a playlist. First of all, it's only in Pakistan that the DJ or the RJ actually gets to make the playlist. When this used to happen in the Americas in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s, but this all finished with the payola scandal. Google that. Now, once um, the, in, in, in modern countries, the playlists are taken care of by a music director, a person who actually, you know, um, curates the music and plays the music for the audience, okay? And the DJ gets a, a preset playlist and they just go through it. No DJ in America or, you know, England or anywhere makes a playlist. Making a playlist is called freeform radio. And, you know, it's from the 50s and 60s. And we still practice freeform radio in Pakistan. I think it's a very good thing. But I also think it might be a bad thing as well. Now, if you... Um, if you, <laughs> I'm just trying to find my, my comments here, uh, make a playlist, there's some do's and don'ts. Number one, your playlist should be a reflection of your radio station's brand image. If your brand image is that one of that, that you are a adult-oriented, you know, classic station, where you play uh, light, classical music, filmy music, all Urdu, Punjabi, Sindhi, Balochi, Pashto, Dari, um, or, you know, you're playing, you know, the hits, like uh, Kavaliya, things like that, then putting in Justin Bieber into the playlist will be completely throw off your whole brand. It will completely throw off your show and all the shows that are broadcast on that radio station. The music should fit the format of your radio station. That's all I'm trying to get at. That's a rule. Secondly, there's a couple other rules. There should be no profanity in the music. And the subject matter or content, you have to censor it too. <laughs> Meaning, as in, there shouldn't be songs about a, a profane topic. You know, not you without using profane words, you could have a song about profane topics. So you gotta stay away from, you know, songs like that. Not only is it the law, but you've got to do it as a sensible and mature and professional broadcaster as well. And you've got to make sure that you have, you have an obligation towards your audience, right? Now, coming back to freeform radio, you get to choose all the songs that you want. And usually a lot of DJs say, Ke hum aapka gana chalayenge. right? I am completely against that, but that's me. Now I'm going to get into my opinions. You don't have to agree with my opinions, okay? There's nothing wrong with playing requests. I feel that playing requests will make your show deviate from what your radio station's brand represents, what your show represents, and what you represent. And giving the control of the song to your audience is good for one or several audience members. It's not good for the whole population of your listeners. Okay, for example, um, I try to play things that can be construed as popular across the board. 
Now, if I started playing Silver Chair uh, and Cemetery, very small subset of that population would be so happy with what I played, but I would alienate the rest of the listenership, which is not something that you want to do. So if you get a request for, oh, gee, you know, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, laga de, ya, uh, Minute ki kawali laga de, hai? Ya something like that, you don't want to play that. You don't want to give a request 100% of the time because you have to maintain control of your brand, of your image. Now, as a listener to you, this might sound like terrible. Yes, it is terrible. I'm deciding what you want to listen to, which is a terrible, terrible thing. But it's in the greater good for the larger population. Okay? There's one person out there who wants to listen to an obscure, you know, song. Might not, like, maybe 1% of the population might like it. So, Saad, in answering your question, what's the, how, how do you play a request? Well, uh, first of all, if you get a request and you're not going to play it, the rule is don't mention that text message or call on air if you're not going to play that. Don't go on air and saying, oh, I'm sorry, Salman, I'm not going to play your song. Don't do that. Let me tell you why. The reason is, Salman has asked you for a song. Nobody else knows. Don't tell the whole world you're disappointing one person. Just disappoint that one person. Just be quiet, you know, let it over. Well, I get about 100 requests every single day. And I don't play them. I only play requests on Wednesdays. So, when coming to play requests, that's a rule. If you're not going to be playing one, don't say it, okay? And if you're going to be playing a request, make sure you play that song. Don't play a cover of it. Don't play a remix of it. Don't play a second version of it. Don't play a live version of it. Or until, unless it's requested. Somebody says, make sure you play the Ocean Drive Karma Kid remix. Don't play the original. You know why? Because that same person, when you play that song, is going to come back and say, no, 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 I, I asked for the other remix. I asked for that. And you're going to be disappointing them once again. So don't do that. That's two rules right there. Now, getting back to uh, playlists, I've got, a, uh, I've got a story for you, okay? And the story is um, the old man and the donkey. So an old man had a donkey, and he took his young son, and he said, you know what, today I'm going to sell this donkey. And he walked to the market. So the old man and the young boy and the donkey were walking to the market. And they came across several people. And those several people said, ha, look at these guys. You know, they're idiots. They could use the donkey to get to the market faster. They could just sit on it. So they both sat on the donkey, and they started forward. Okay? And then ahead, they saw a couple of people, and they said, oh, my God, look at these idiots. They're both sitting on the donkey, and the poor donkey is so tired and can't carry two people. Only one person should be sitting on the donkey. So the old man got off and let the young kid sit on the donkey. And they were going, so old man's walking, donkey's walking, kid is sitting on the donkey. They're walking to the market. They met a bunch of old people and said, see, the youth of today, the young strapping boy who could walk miles and miles is letting his old man walk while here's a donkey and he's sitting on the donkey. So the old man and the young boy switch. Now the young boy's walking and the old man is on the donkey. And they run into uh, several other people and the people say, look at the you know, old man sitting on the donkey and they say, they should be carrying the donkey. So they get a, they get a long danda and they tie the donkey and they start carrying the donkey. And they come to a bridge and the donkey is like, he's like, what the hell is going on? He starts kicking and he kicks free and he falls over into the river and the donkey dies. So the moral of the story is, you can't please everybody. If you set out pleasing everybody, you are going to be in a loss yourself. So don't please everybody. That's a rule when making a playlist. And I hopefully saw that answers your question about what to do about playing a request or not. By all means, play requests. It's very important to be 
playing what the audience wants. It's super, super important. At one point in time in my career, I made it a point, it was very, very hard to play requests. All we did was, you know, it was very hard because we had to cue cassettes and we had to find the songs and the songs were not available. So people would only be able to listen to what, you know, set playlists on cassettes before that the DJ had and doing requests was ek azab hota tha and we used to manage it. But then when the time of the computer came, you could just click and play the song and people know that. You can just click and play the song, right? And people want that immediate reaction. So I know RJs will go out and say, we'll just play your requests and that's all they do. They just come on. I personally feel that's extremely lazy and bad programming, essentially, overall. You're not putting in any effort. You're not making a playlist. Okay. Uh, another thing about playlists is that, you know, they should sound as consistent as possible. Do not deviate from your format of music and, you know, go all over the place. Another tip and suggestion for a playlist is it must reflect the mood of the audience at that time. If there is a, a, an event of catastrophic proportions that has happened just recently in Pakistan, try to stay away from super upbeat, happy music. Try to mellow it down. You know, Do you, do you understand what I'm getting at? I don't want to give an example, but you understand what I'm getting at. Also, again, stay away from the profanity and stay away from ex explicit content and explicit words as well. So that's a little bit about uh, playlists. If you have any questions, please ask me now and I'll answer them at the end of the masterclass. We have another question from an RJ. And the question is, <clears throat> Sababano Malik writes, from, she hosts a Saturday show called Full Disclosure on City FM 89. She writes, how do you stop fighting people who call you nasal? <laughs> and blabby would also be a solid. Okay. Nasal voices. Number one, Saba. Uh, a lot of DJs have nasal, vo nasal voices. I have a nasal voice. Yes, I do. Many famous DJs, okay, who has the same last name as me, has the most nasal voice in the world. And it comes across, it amplifies, voice amplifies more on, uh, on radio because the microphone picks it up. It's basically, a nasal voice is your, your nasal cavity is blocked and you, and you talk this a little bit. That's and free. And what to do. First of all, how do you stop fighting people who call you nasal? Say, yeah, I'm nasal. So is, so is that guy. So is that guy. But, all right, that's fighting with that. Get a prescription for this from the doctor. And do not use this medication in excess. It can cause low term damage. I'm going to tell you about the, what I use, but you cannot use it without consulting your doctor. And if without consulting your doctor, you alone are responsible for the outcomes because excessive use will cause irreparable damage. Okay? I use breathing techniques clean. If you, okay, don't laugh, but I'm laughing. If you have too many boogers in your nose, the sound noise. I'm gross. Don't pick your nose. I pick my nose. I don't find it gross. Don't pick your nose. Wash your nose with water. Keep it clean. Breathing exercises. Okay? This will open up your nasal cavities. Okay? Second. I use nasal spray a lot. Well, not a lot. Block maybe use this. Uh, you know, not more than one spray in twelve hours. Very dangerous stuff. Okay, and only oops, 
Only a doctor can prescribe this. I was very young. A nasally person has nasal I was very young. I went to the doctor and the doctor gave me an evil medicine to open up my nasal passage. From time to time, I use that medicine. So no, I have been to the doctor for this, so I can use this. If you want to try, go to your doctor and this will open your nasal cavities and you'll sound much better. Okay? Now we're talking about the vayan and you know what voice. Uh, you might also want to have a antiseptic throat spray on hand. Okay, I know one DJ who needs this. He needs or she needs one of these. I won't say the name. This is a sore throat spray. Just this. It's not a suggestion. You spray it in your throat. You. Or aapke foreign gala. And if you've got a raspy voice like this, you need to have this on hand. This, you don't need a uh, prescription for. This is. But if you ingest it, if you swallow it, and you have a lot of money, don't blame me. Don't, you know. Wafir Mikdad, and that is good old natural pure honey. Okay, Try it. Have a bottle of this. How do you use this? One tablespoon. Kosa pani. You mix it in, and you. It. Mm. It's the best antiseptic for your throat. Better. And honest to God, it'll even make you sound a little bit more bassier. It'll actually improve your vocal cords. Also, if you're smoking, for a DJ, for a radio person, smoking, for a voice artist, you can okay? Things, your, your voice is all raspy. You don't want more Simpson. So these things, this brings us to the end of the last class. I'm just going to check the video. If there are any questions, I can answer them right now. If there are, you know, my, my page is not working here on my phone. Let me reopen it. Let's see if it works. I'm just going to check if there are questions. There. She's in the Purani. Okay, have four comments here. Muhammad is including me. Use BGM. Sentences. Is it a good practice? No, you should stop. Please suggest me some good RJs to listen to enhance my learning experience. Canadian American RJs. Uh, hey, Parker from Z1035. Alan Cross from. Edge 102, uh, listen to uh, anyone on BBC, listen to um, who else? Uh, what's that guy's name who does American Tiger? Ryan Seek. Uh, listen to him. Okay. You are audible. Well, we can do it now, can we? Okay. Thank you. Uh, we will be hosting another master class next Thursday. Keep moving forward. I wish you the best of luck with your radio career.